Hi guys, Autumn here today to do my weekly wrap up for week two and week three of um, August. I read a total of 10 books in the last two weeks. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. The first one I read was Devastate Me by Emma Castle. This was the um, Read Me Romance podcast for the second week of August or the first week. I think it was the first week of August, um, and this is a next-door neighbor um, romance. First book by Emma Castle. I gave this three out of five stars. This follows Oplea, maybe, and um, Colton, oh, Colt, um, and their next-door neighbors. He is an ex-military, and yeah, it's kind of instant love. Um, I enjoyed it. Then I listened to The Seven Year Itch by um, Tessa Bailey. This was week two of the Read Me Romance podcast. I gave this four out of five stars. This is a friends to lovers, next door neighbor, um, Halloween book. Um, so this follows Jamie and Drew. As I said, their next door neighbor's been best friends forever. Drew takes care of his teenage sister. Um, and uh, Jamie has always had a crush on him. Um, and then well, one Halloween, they go to a party and it's like a masquerade party. So they're wearing masks. Um, and they hook up and Drew doesn't know it's Jamie. And yeah, I gave it four out of five stars. And then I'll just talk about week three Read Me Romance, which was um, His Virgin Queen by Mink. This was the second book by her I've read. Um, this was week three of the Read Me Romance podcast. This is a dark mafia romance. Ooh, I'm going all over places. Um, and I gave this three out of five stars. This follows Sophie and Nick, um, arranged marriage. And yeah, I enjoyed it. And then I read Dear Ava by Isla, Isla Madden Mills. This is a standalone. This follows Ava and Knox. Um, this follows Ava who was sexually assaulted. Um, and she's trying to figure out who did it. Um, her school doesn't believe her. Um, and then one day on her first day back for her senior year, um, she gets a letter um, from a secret admirer. And saying that he believes her and um, it's really good. I gave this five out of five stars. Listen to the audiobook of this. And um, this was for the challenge anonymous messaging for the Tropicana Readathon. Tropicana Readathon. Um, and I highly, highly recommend this. This came out in February. Um but it is a little darker. Just go be aware going in. And then I reread Always Yours by Shelly Jones. I read this back in 2000. I think I said 14 when I looked at it. Um, it could have been... I don't remember when I first read this. Yeah, I think it was 2014. Um, and so it's been a, quite a lot of years, six years since I read this the first time and I still loved it. This um, also met the challenge for starts with the first letter of your name. My name is Autumn, so A, so always yours. Um, for the Tropicana 
readathon. I gave this five out of five stars. This follows Katie, who is um, pregnant, and then her husband dies. He is in the military. He dies, um, and then she decides to move back to her hometown. Um, after he dies and raises her daughter um, and then her one of her high school friends moves back um, and it's their story. I gave this five out of five stars, really enjoyed it. And then I read Naked in Death by J.D. Robb. This is the first book by this author. This is book one in the um, In Death series. Um, I read this for recommended for Tropicana. Um, it fit the challenge for Sun Pack of the um, Office and Moon Pack in Romance Opoly of Burger Joint. Um, I gave this three out of five stars. I listened to this on audio. This follows Eve, who is a detective, and she is um, trying to solve a few cases of girls getting killed, and she's trying to figure out who's doing it. Um, and it takes place in the future. I think it was, um, yeah, the 2058. So it takes place in the future. Um, so, yeah, it was good. I may continue on with the series. Um, and then all of the other books I read, I have physically. So the first one is Girl, or not Girl, wow, Good by S. Walden. This was another reread. I read this back in 2014, too. Um, this is book one in the Too Good duology. Um, I gave this four out of five stars. The first time I read this, I gave this five out of five stars. Um, but I have grown so much in the last six years of reading taste um, that now I can say this is a solid four stars. I really still enjoyed it. Um, there's just a little bit I didn't love. Um, but... It's still really good. This follows Candace, who is a senior in high school, um, and she is a Christian. Um, so there is a lot of um, that in here. Um, and she made a mistake 13 months ago, um, and she was in juvie. And then she's coming back from juvie to start her senior year. Um, and then she meets Mark, who is her calculus teacher. So it is a forbidden story between her and her teacher, so student teacher. So this meant the challenge for Forbidden on Tropicana Readathon. And I still gave this four out of five stars um, and really enjoyed it. And then I read The Worst Best Man by Mia Sosa. This uh, met the challenge for Blast from the Past of Tropicana. First book by this author. I listened to this on audio, um, and I gave this four out of five stars. This follows Lena, who is a wedding um, planner, um, and she is left at the altar. Um, and then it's like three or four years later, she meets her groom's her ex-groom's um, brother, well, I mean, they already knew each other, but, um, and she and him, Max, have to work together to get, um, as like a wedding thing, um, and yeah, I gave this four out of five stars, I enjoyed it, um, it's really cute, so, there's that, and then, I read One to Watch by Kate Stamen London. This was the group read for Team Romance um, of Tropicana. Um, this follows uh, Bia, Bay, B. I can't even say. It. I think it's B. Um, and she is um, a 
fashion, fashion blogger. Um, and one day she was reading or watching Main Squeeze, a reality show like The Bachelor, and saying that they don't have um, any plus size women or anything. Um, so she's pretty known into the fashion world. So the producers of Main Squeeze will it's like, why don't you be the next Main Squeeze? Um, so it follows her and her journey through um, Main Squeeze um, and her finding love and all of that. I really enjoyed this. I gave this four out of five stars. Um, and yes, I really like the aspect of um, Bachelor, Bachelorette, um, and I thought it was really good. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. I also listened to this on audio um, and first book by author. And then finally, I read A Real Man Knit by Quana Jackson. This is, um, I don't know if this is going to be a series. It can be, but I read this on um i listened to this on audio from my library too um and first book by this author i gave this three out of five stars but it's more like a 3.5 um but i'm really trying not to give five stars uh i mean point five or like half ratings um i'm just gonna give stolid um ratings um, so this is a three because it's not quite a four. Um, so yes. Um, but I really enjoyed, um, this. I really liked it. Um, it follows Carrie, who is a teacher and, um, works part time at a, um, yarn shop store. Um, and then four brothers. Um, who recently just lost their foster mom, adopted mom. Um, and it's just a story about grief and finding out who you are. And it's like friends to lovers. I, I, I liked it. Um, I thought it was really cute. And yeah. So those are all of the books I read. I am currently reading, um, Too Good or too good book two, um, better by S. Bolden. Um, I'm only like 56 pages in. Um, so I hope to finish this this week. And also I'm going to pick up The Whisker Man by Alex North. And then I'm also going to pick up Dirty Sexy Self. <laughs> Saint, sorry. Dirty Sexy Saint by Cole, uh, Carly Phillips and Erica Wild. Um, and then these three will be the last three prompts I have to do for Tropicana. And then I'm finished with that. So, yes. But those are all the books I read. And yeah, what are some books you read? And if you want a full review on any of these, just let me know. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.